I started thinking about this piece back in September in 2019 when I was on maternity leave. And at that point, I hadn't selected a poem yet. I was focusing more on musical ideas for the piece. I wasn't even sure whether I would write one single spanning movement or if I would divide the time up into two or three shorter songs. So early on, I was listening to recordings of the Glasgow School of Art Choir, thinking about the parameters of writing for a community choir as opposed to a large community choir as opposed to a small chamber choir of soloists. And I was also thinking about using building block elements. So for example, scales and scale steps, uh, because these are easier to perform than melodies which are based on, on leaps. So the opening idea that I, I came up with was a very simple descending scale figure, which you could think of as just the, the scale steps three, two, one of a minor scale, but it could equally be scale degree four, three, two, one, depending on which note you emphasize and what the context is of those three notes. So that's something that I, I was planning to play with as the piece unfolded. So I went back to work in January in 2020 and it was at that point that I started to think more seriously about what text I was going to set. And there were a few boxes I was looking to tick. I wanted to set something contemporary. And I wanted, ideally I was interested to set something by a female poet. And because I'm from Australia, I... I did look quite closely at, at poems by Australian poets. And at that same time, I was also listening to a song by my friend Helen Grime, which was reflecting upon the experience of having a baby. And that was setting text by Fiona Benson from a collection called Bright Traveller. I like the idea of, of writing something which reflects on a personal experience. And for me, the experience of becoming a mother for the second time was still quite new to me. So I came across this collection of works by Judith Bishop, and in particular, the poem 14 Weeks, which is about the early stages of pregnancy. What encouraged me about selecting this text is that the words, the rhythm of the words in the opening lines fitted really well with some melodic ideas I'd already sketched out for my piece. And, and that was one of the anxieties I had was I'd already had some musical ideas, but I hadn't yet settled on a text. So in a way, I, I was at risk of painting myself into a corner because I hadn't conceived of that music with the words in mind. So once I read these opening lines of, of this poem, 14 Weeks, I felt happy because I thought this is the one, this matches the rhythm of my, of my music. I wasn't sure for some time whether I was going to write out all the notes in my piece or whether I was going to perhaps use some techniques of indeterminate notation to do that. I was speaking to my friend Katie Cooper who directs a few different choirs and she recommended that I look at the music of Kerry Andrew and I came across her piece O oh, Nata Looks which uses this floating mobile, very simple melodic idea at the start which gets repeated indeterminately by some of the singers in the choir and that creates a really beautiful um, texture at the start and things de develop around that idea. So I thought that could be a clever way of giving a minimal amount of written out material to the singers while being able to achieve some really interesting textures and to achieve this vision of the piece that I'd had back in September, October of a very slowly evolving resonant harmonically sort of driven texture. So I'm at the stage now where I've written out quite a lot of these melodic cells which will form basis of the piece and I'm just going to send them off to Jamie to see what he thinks. 